Hello everyone. I got a comment on my last video where I talked about a how a bill in the house that passed and how it left or how the bill required that medical care be provided to children who had been born alive after a botched abortion and how the Democrats actually pretended to care about the life of the child for the sake of opposing that bill. And I got a comment on that video that talked about how the person who left the comment believed that abortion should be illegal except in the case of rape and incest. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I do not agree with that exception. And I want to tell you why. So first of all, less than 1% of all abortions are because of rape and incest. Meaning that 99% of all the abortions that take place in the United States are women who had consensual sex with their boyfriends, fiancés, whatever marital status they are at. And are too narcissistic to welcome a child into their lives. And so they're just going to kill the child because they want to live life for themselves. Now we can talk about how maybe the woman is being pressured by the man to go get the abortion. But that's for another video. We're talking about rape and incest here. Less than 1% of all abortions are due to rape and incest. And I feel, I have feel, I understand why people want to say, well, what about the case of rape and incest? And yes, yes, getting pregnant through rape and incest, non-consensual sex, is very sad, and I feel for those women. Yes, that's a terrible thing to have happen to you. I also feel for the women who kill their husbands because they're physically or sexually abusive. But am I saying that we should legalize homicide across the board for the... I'm going to guess, I did not look this up, but I'm going to guess vast, vast, vast minority of murders who are done by women who killed their abusive boyfriends or husbands? No! So, tell me, why should abortion, more broadly, be legal so that the less than 1% where you can say, okay, maybe that there's, a, uh, there's some reasonability there, can have that procedure? Now you could argue, well, well, okay, we can, let's, let's make a law that restricts abortion to only the women who have had, who are pregnant by rape or incest. The problem there is, how do you fact check these people? You can have a woman who got pregnant by her boyfriend, who had consensual sex and is now pregnant by her boyfriend, and wants to go get an abortion, and doesn't want to go through the work of having to travel to another state where it is legal. Maybe she lives in, you know, uh, in a, an abortion sanctuary state. Or I should say a, a life sanctuary state, I should say. I'm not sure which terminology should be used. You could have a woman who wants to get an abortion in a state where she cannot, and doesn't want to travel to another state. And so she just lies and says, yeah, yeah, I'm pregnant by rape and incest. How are you going to prove it? Okay, so, so, we're just gonna, so we're just going to take these women at their word? Also, tell me. Why should the circumstances surrounding the child's conception change whether or not 
It is a human being. I mean, if you are... I mean, there, there's two reasons why abortion should be illegal for women who are pregnant by their own consensual means. One, it's the child is a human being. And two, you made this bed, now sleep in it. Okay, alright, there's, there's consequences to your actions. So, explain to me how the circumstances... But number one is be, it being a human being. So explain to me how the circumstances surrounding the child's conception suddenly makes it okay to kill the child. First of all, what what did the the, the child what did the child do in the rape? He's just a he's just a a result of science and biology taking its course. Yes, it's sad. I feel sorry for the woman. But what did the child do? If anyone should get should get killed, shouldn't it be the 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 jackass guy who who raped her and got her pregnant? All right, may, maybe we should kill him so that he can't do that to any other woman ever again. Now I'm not advocating that we go around, you know, murdering rapists. I'm not advocating for 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 like. Rapist lynch mobs. But if anyone should be... Should be... Having a death penalty put on them... It should be the guy who got her pregnant, not the... Not the child. So... Why, why am I against it? One, it's less than 1% of all abortions. Well, I guess, no, no, that, that's, the, that's the last quality. One, no matter how the child was, con was conceived, it is still a human being. Two, if anyone should die, it should be the rapist. And three, rape accounts for less than 1% of all abortions. And furthermore, if you talk to women who have been raped and have gone through an abortion, if you talk to women who have gone through an abortion, Abby Johnson, for, ex for example, she will tell you about how she feels horrible about what she has done. Thankfully, she's forgiven herself and... Her and her husband have a wonderful family. But there's still that remorse. There's still that feeling of, oh my gosh, there's two more children that I had that I went and killed. And I'm, I would guess that if you talk to women who were raped and had abortions, they would say, great, now I have the trauma of being raped. And now I also have the trauma of knowing that there was a child out, that there was a child in my womb that I killed and I will, will never get to meet at least in this life getting an abortion does not undo the rape it just adds it just adds to the guilt from what from my understanding from what I've heard from testimonies Admittedly, yes, I don't have any testimonies I can point to you specifically, but I'm sure they're out there. And there's, the, 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 I would guess they're the rule, not the exception either. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I got a video. Pardon. I got a video coming out. I'll probably try to do it next week. I want to do one on Biden and Trump and the top secret files that have been found in both of their possession. 
and how Trump's case is not as bad as Biden's case. See you next week.